good news is they gave me my replacement shirt and this is it right here. And Paul from, where was it? Was it Texas or Louisiana or I can't remember. Oh, New Hampshire. Paul, congratulations. He was our winner for the small and I believe he's giving it to a family member or a child, which is pretty cool. I love that. Um, okay, let's talk about Julia Child. I learn something about her every recipe I do. The one thing I've learned so far, I've done two recipes, and the thing I'm learning is it's not the ingredients. We always try and pile in ingredients. It's not the ingredients. It's how you treat each ingredient. So you're going to see there's very little to this recipe, but it's how we cook the chicken and rotate the chicken and baste the chicken and, and salt it a little bit. I mean, how you treat the chicken is where it's all at. So she has a style that each level or each ingredient or the vegetables or the chicken, they all get treated differently. And it's how you treat your food. It's not what you put in it. Does that make sense? I'm learning more and more about her technique. Once again, like the brownies, how we had everything separate and we brought it all together. We folded it all in, remember that? Okay, so I'm starting to learn that all of her stuff is treated separately until it's brought together. That's all. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Got my salt and pepper, got all my ingredients, but you can't see from back there. Move in and I'll show you what I got. Obviously we're doing roast chicken, so you're gonna need a roasting pan. You want one that's, uh, you want it just a little bit bigger than the bird. She says she wants it kind of snug in there. So it keeps all the juices close to it. I have no idea. She used, she used a cast iron in her recipe. So recipes down below, you'll see what she wrote. But um, basically, uh, butter, obviously. Butter, butter, butter has <laughs> been in every dish. She loves her butter. Uh, it's such a great way to cook. It's the fat that you should be using. Uh, the oil you use is a good oil. This is an extra virgin olive oil. Uh, just don't use like vegetable frying oil. In the, use a nicer one, whether it's an avocado or a... Um, some of the better peanut oil is a good oil. I uh, got a shallot, got an onion over here, got carrots over here, salt and pepper here. And the star of the show is right here, the chicken. I think it's like a five pound chicken. It's gonna take a little longer to cook than the time she gave. I think she had a little over three pounds. And then right here, we got our chicken stock we're gonna be using too. So once again, make note as I show you what to do, when to turn it, when to salt again, when to baste, all that stuff. It's how you treat the food, okay? That's what I've learned so far. Who knew? Nobody ever told me that. But anyway, uh, let's get this thing started. Okay guys, so we're going to get our chicken. Okay, and make sure it's drained. Get your chicken in there. It's breast side up, right? Tail up. Nope, oh, nope, breast side up. There we go, turn it around so you can salt the inside and you can also butter the inside. So since my hand is already contaminated with chicken, I'm just gonna take, take the butter and slather it on the inside, okay? That's what it says to do. Okay. Then go clean your hand. Okay, then we're gonna take, we're gonna take a handful of salt and we're going to sprinkle the inside with it. Put salt all on the inside. All right, got salt on the inside. You can take the rest of your salt on your hand, but on the outside. Go wash your hand again. You've buttered the inside, you've salted the inside. Now, we're going to, this is where I said, oh, that butter's at room temperature, good. Got plenty of butter going on here. So now we're going to take care of the outside. You ready for this? All right, no salt yet. Hang on a second. We're literally going to dry this off first. Okay, 
Once this towel gets in, contaminated, throw it in the wash, sanitize the towel, do whatever you gotta do, but pat dry it. Let's make sure we got it flipped. We'll pat dry this side too. And you gotta be very careful to not screw up these steps. So what I'm gonna do is, it's all pat dried. I'm gonna start with the back. I'm not putting my hand in the salt. And rub the whole outside of the bird. There we go. Got some salt now. Now, since my hand's already contaminated, I might as well flip the bird and grab salt and do this side too. Okay. Salt. Grab your salt. There we go. Get it nice and salted. There we go. You may think it's tiresome, but you want to stay clean the whole time. Now, I should have put, I got really soft butter here. So I'm going to put a stick on there, right there. A little bit of butter. I've already salted it, so it doesn't, doesn't matter what order you put it in. All right, so just, just kind of rub the outside with butter. Okay, and when we flip it, we'll be basting more butter. I'm using all the butter. There we go. There we go. Get all the butter and leave it in the pan because it's just going to turn into basting juice. All right. So go ahead and wash your hand again. Make sure one rack is pulled out and the other rack is in the middle of the oven. Okay, you want it in the center of the oven. So let me take care of that right now. Then we're gonna go put the vegetables in and then we'll pop it in. So we're gonna take our take our vegetables, kind of stick them around everywhere. Leave a I would leave a corner to where you can get your basting brush in there, okay? Because you're going to be basting too. So there you go. I got your vegetables in there. You got your your roasting chicken in there. Now I'm going to take your the camera over to the oven so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to place this in the oven right now. Right in the middle right there. Look how beautiful that is. Make sure you can... I'm going to turn it this way. This way I want to pull the... Let me just show you really quick. Well... I don't want the heat to escape, so we'll let that. So when I pull it out, I'll be able to turn it. I need to get one of these. Really, I need one of these. I don't want to tear up my chicken. I'm going to use this to rotate it to the right, rotate it to the left, all that. So I'm going to need to get into the bird, grab the whole bird, and rotate it. Okay? We're going to have to rotate and baste. Okay? So I'm going to show you how quickly we do it. We don't want a lot of the heat to leave, so we've got to do it quickly. Once again, first thing we're going to rotate, then we're going to baste. Okay, pull the shop out. We're going to rotate. Ah, crap, the wrong end. And good job, Jack. You got the wrong end. It's not the end you wanted. That over there. Put that. Rotate. Okay, let's see if we can do this now. Rotate. Half the chicken. Okay. Okay. And then you're gonna. Baste. Baste. Okay. You can be doing this again and again. Yeah, I know the door is open. I have a stove that yells at me. Okay. Once you baste the whole thing. Okay. So we've rotated it and baste. We're going to give it literally five minutes on this side. 
So go in slowly. Okay, close it up. All right, once you've uh, basted and cooked for about half the cooking time, okay, you're going to drop the temperature down to 350 degrees and finish it off. And keep basting, that's the key, keep basting. All right guys, so every 15 minutes we're rotating, okay? But every five minutes we're basting. Seems a little excessive, but you know what, I wanna follow the recipe. So let's base. There we go. juice out about uh, about two tablespoons in there I'm gonna heat that up a little bit I'm gonna take my shallots drop them in and I'm just gonna cook them in that juice it's gonna be awesome I might steal a little bit more juice just to, well, I guess it's going to be, it's going to be just fine. I'm going to saute them in here and then I'm going to pour them back on the chicken before serving. All right, now it's time to put in, um, we got chicken stock. going to put in a cup of that and reduce it down to about half a cup with the shallots and the juices. Should be really good. that to about half should be delicious when we're done oh, it's so golden brown it just I snuck a little piece of onion and the sweetness of that onion is unbelievable I don't know if the sweetness is from the onion or the butter or the two together but it's like nothing I've ever tasted that just looks amazing and we treated it just right we basted it, we rotated it, we basted it again. Every five minutes for an hour and a half, I basted this thing. So it's been saturated with its own juices. It just looks beautiful. This, I love this idea. Doing Julia Child in the entire month of June was so awesome. I'm ready to do it again in September. We're still trying to decide who. I'll let you know when I know. I'm still reducing the sauce back here. And that'll go on the table for when we eat later. But I just got to give this a try. Let me, uh, this is just awesome. It's like, I feel like I'm going to taste chicken like I've never tasted it before. Because the onion was like I've never tasted it before. So I'm hoping the chicken will taste the same too. Just pulls right out. Wow. Mmm. You know? It does the word golden mean a flavor to you? That's what I'm feeling. This is golden brown, it's golden delicious, it's golden tasty. It tastes amazing. The juices are amazing, the butter's amazing. Wow. Mmm. That's a home run. She knew what she was talking about. Hang on a minute. Okay, guys. So, this came out amazing. The brownies came out amazing. The meatloaf came out amazing. Everything's going great this month. I'm excited. I'm ready to do it again with another one of the chefs out there. 
but um, this is delicious. So you gotta try this recipes down below. Uh, give it a try and um, we got another one coming. I love you.